Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm glad you stopped by. I'm Gina, and today we're gonna to be cooking a pork roast in the Instant Pot. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is turn on the saute and add a couple of tablespoons of oil. I'm gonna be using grapeseed oil. We're gonna just let that get hot. I've combined a few spices here and I'm gonna list those below, but um, I have rosemary, garlic powder, I have some basil, a little bit of sage, some thyme, salt and pepper. Anyway, I will list those below so you can get the accurate amounts. You might want to um, cut up some potatoes and some onions while you're waiting for your oil to heat. I have about four medium sized potatoes cut up and quartered here. And I have a large onion that I have uh, quartered and kind of pulled apart. And I'm also going to put some carrots in there, but um, you might desire to put some celery or maybe some other vegetables in there. It's just kind of according to what your tastes are. I have about a four pound roast here cut up into smaller pieces. I like to do that in order to shorten the cook time. And I think it cooks into it better when it's cut into smaller pieces. Um, you don't have to do that, but um, if you cook it whole, just remember that your timing might change. Um, the recommended amount of time is about 15 minutes per pound. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here and then what I'm gonna do is sprinkle my spices over the top. So I've added two cups of chicken broth and now I'm going to deglaze the bottom by scraping uh, the pieces off the bottom. You might want to brown yours a little bit more than I have, but just kind of, I think it gives it a little extra flavor. And I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. Kind of stirring it a little bit so that stuff can get down in there a little better. Okay, make sure that this is your vent is set to uh, sealed, and then I'm gonna set mine to about 40 minutes. Just like I said though, keep in mind about 15 minutes per pound, if you, especially if you're um, cooking yours whole. So the timer has gone off 
and I've let it uh, natural release for, it shows it's been 11 minutes now, so I'm going to flip this and let the rest of the steam out. Oh, it really smells good. It smells so good. Oh yeah, and the meat's falling apart. I'm going to dish some up and give it a taste for you guys. Some nice chunks in here so you guys can see it. I'm going to get a bite of this meat. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. 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 That's really good.